Hi, Digital Arts. We're going to be looking at the Photopea interface. On your notes, you should notice a, an image of the interface that you're going to be labeling. Just use arrows and then you put the letter of each item where it needs to go. The interface is this screen that you see right in front of you. An interface is basically any screen that you use to interact with the application. All applications that you use have an interface and a lot of them are very similar. For example, all applications have a menu bar. So this is A, your menu bar. You'll notice when you click on your menu bar, you can create a new file, open a file, or save. You can also do a lot of other things that we'll be touching on later. B is your toolbar. That is on the left side of your screen. And it's called toolbar because you, you notice that all of your tools are stored here. Think about um, your desk drawer. So these are all drawers with different tools in them. If you notice, some of the tools have this tiny little arrow in the corner. That means that there are tools inside of that tool. So when as I'm hovering with my mouse, you'll notice a lot of other tools popping up. What's great about the toolbar is when you let your mouse hover on the tool, it will tell you what that tool is. So if you've forgotten where your tool is, just let it sit there and it will tell you which one. C is your options bar. Your options bar is up here under the menu bar. And it's called an options bar because depending on what tool you pick, your options change. So for example, if you choose the brush tool, you'll notice that in the options bar, you can choose a different brush. You can choose a different size for that brush and also a different style. You can also change the blend mode, which we'll go into later. You can change the opacity, flow, and so on. If you choose the text tool or type tool, you'll notice in the options that you can change the type of font. You can change the size, the color, and the alignment. On the right-hand side of your screen, you'll notice these are your palettes. The two most significant palettes you're going to be using over and over again are the history palette and the history palette basically records every step you make. So let's go ahead and use the brush right now. I'm going to paint a line and you'll notice it recorded that mark in the history. I'll paint another line and again it records that movement. The benefit of the history palette is that if you want to undo something, let's say you've done a lot of different motions and you want to undo most of them, it's recorded everything that you've done. So you can just click on the last step that you wanted to keep. And then as soon as you do a new motion, it will replace any of those other motions you didn't want. Your layers palette is a benefit because every image that you add to your workspace, if you put it on a different layer, you're going to be able to work on with them differently. We'll go over layers a lot more as we get to that. For now, we'll be playing with the interface a little bit. If you have any questions about the interface, please let me know.